Picture this, the year is 1974, and you've just settled into a dimly lit movie theater, the air thick with anticipation. The scent of buttered popcorn wafts through the room, and the hushed murmurs of fellow cinephiles add an electric charge to the atmosphere. The flickering screen comes to life, and there, amidst the smoky streets of Los Angeles, unfolds a neo-noir masterpiece that would forever etch its enigmatic tale into the annals of cinematic history Chinatown. As the opening credits roll, your senses are immediately ensnared by the hauntingly evocative score, setting the stage for a journey into a world where intrigue and corruption dance in the shadows. Jack Nicholson's enigmatic portrayal of private investigator J.J. Gitz draws you into a labyrinthine plot that is as labyrinthine as the maze etched in the movie's title. Faye Dunaway's stunning Evelyn Mulray, the femme fatale of your wildest dreams, lures you deeper into the abyss, her secrets hidden behind those enigmatic eyes. Chinatown isn't just a film, it's a mind-bending experience, a mirror reflecting the murky underbelly of a bygone era. Your first encounter with it was a revelation, a cinematic baptism into a world where the line between right and wrong blurs like the rain-slicked streets of Los Angeles. Those whispered words, forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown, still resonate in your memory, a poignant reminder of a conclusion both heart-wrenching and inevitable. Now, let's dive deeper into the enigma that is Chinatown with some random, intriguing facts about the show. The Orange Grove scene in the 1974 movie Chinatown was filmed at Triad Ranch, located at 3240 Sunset Valley Road in Moorpark, California. This location belonged to John Huston's friend, the actor Walter Brennan. The setting provided a picturesque backdrop for a key moment in the film, adding to its authentic atmosphere. As for the El Macondo apartments, they are named after the fictional city in Gabriel Garca e Marquez's renowned novel, 100 Years of Solitude. This nod to literature weaves an intriguing layer of depth into the film's narrative and showcases the filmmaker's attention to detail. Another interesting fact about the movie is that Robert Town wrote the screenplay with Jack Nicholson in mind for the lead role. This choice proved to be a pivotal one as Nicholson's performance as private investigator J.J. Gitz became iconic in the world of cinema. Chinatown, directed by Roman Polanski and starring Jack Nicholson, and Faye Dunaway is a classic in the film noir genre, known for its intricate plot and memorable characters. The film's combination of historical accuracy, literary references, and casting choices contributed to its enduring popularity. In summary, Chinatown stands as a testament to the attention to detail in its production, making use of real locations and literary allusions while capitalizing on the talents of its cast, particularly Jack Nicholson. In 1974, Roman Polanski's film Chinatown hit the big screen, but it almost had a different leading lady. The role of Evelyn Mulray was initially intended for Ollie McGraw, the wife of the film's producer. However, she lost the role when she divorced the producer in favor of Steve McQueen. This casting twist ultimately led to Faye Dunaway taking on the iconic role of Evelyn Mulray. Additionally, a memorable moment in the film wasn't even in the script. John Huston, who played the character Noah Cross, had trouble pronouncing the last name of Jack Nicholson's character, J.J. Gitz. To address this, Roman Polanski had Jack Nicholson add a line trying to correct Cross's mispronunciation, and they decided to keep it in the final cut. Furthermore, Chinatown faced a visual challenge during production. Roman Polanski was reportedly outraged when he saw the initial dailies because, in an attempt to mimic the success of The Godfather, the film had been given a reddish look at the order of producer Robert Evans. Polanski insisted that the film's look be corrected to match his original vision. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the intriguing stories that unfolded during the making of Chinatown a classic film that continues to captivate audiences. So, next time you watch this 1974 masterpiece, remember the interesting tidbits that contributed to its creation. Cinematographer shake up on set of Chinatown in the making of the 1974 film Chinatown. A noteworthy change took place behind the camera. Cinematographer Stanley Cortez was initially hired, but didn't stick around for long. Director Roman Polanski decided Cortez's classical style didn't align with the naturalistic look he wanted for the movie. Additionally, Cortez's work was taking too much time. Polanski had to swiftly find a replacement, and he chose John Alonzo. 
Interestingly, despite Cortez's departure, two scenes shot by him did make it into the final cut of the film. These scenes include the Orange Grove fight with the farmers, though the subsequent porch scene with Evelyn was not Cortez's work. The second scene was the drive back to Los Angeles at sunset. This change behind the scenes added an unexpected layer to the making of Chinatown and showcases the creative challenges that can arise during film production. In the 1974 movie Chinatown, directed by Roman Polanski and starring Jack Nicholson, the film's enigmatic title serves as a metaphor for moral corruption by unseen forces. Throughout the movie, the protagonist, Jake Gitz, alludes to his time as a police officer in Chinatown, where, in his own words, you can't always tell what's going on. This phrase reflects the pervasive moral ambiguity and corruption that Gitz encounters throughout the story. In Hollywood, a famous line from the film, Forget it, Jake, it's Chinatown, has become a mantra for those who have experienced disappointment or deception in the entertainment industry. It implies that it's often better to let go of issues rather than confront them, as that's just how the industry operates. Jack Nicholson, who played the lead role of Jake Kitts, openly expressed his dislike for the movie's ending. While the film has been widely praised for its storytelling, and performances, Nicholson's dissatisfaction with the conclusion sheds light on the complexity of the film's narrative. His criticism of the ending adds a layer of intrigue to Chinatown and underscores the subjective nature of cinematic interpretation. Furthermore, it's worth noting that Robert Evans, the producer of Chinatown, deliberately sought out Roman Polanski to direct the film. This decision was based on Polanski's desire to make a successful movie following two major flops, Macbeth and the lesser known what. Polanski's dedication to ensuring the success of Chinatown ultimately paid off, as the film became a hit and remains a classic in the world of cinema. In conclusion, Chinatown is a film with a title that encapsulates the theme of moral corruption and hidden truths. Jack Nicholson's disapproval of the ending adds an intriguing layer to the movie, and the deliberate choice of Roman Polanski as the director contributed to its success. As we bring the curtain down on this cinematic journey through the labyrinthine streets of Chinatown, it's our hope that the echoes of this classic resonate within your soul. The tale of Jake Gitz, the sultry Evelyn Mulray, and the enigmatic water scandal they uncover has left an indelible mark on the annals of film history. We invite you to take a moment, right here and now, to delve into the depths of your personal connection with Chinatown. What do you recall most vividly? The haunting score by Jerry Goldsmith, the meticulous direction of Roman Polanski, or perhaps the unforgettable performances by Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway? Was it the enigmatic plot twists, the morally ambiguous characters, or the ever-present atmosphere of unease that still lingers in your memory? Whether you've been a long-time admirer of this neo-noir masterpiece, or if you're just stepping onto this dark, rain-slicked pavement for the first time, we encourage you to share your thoughts, memories, and reflections. Your unique perspective adds to the rich tapestry of appreciation for Chinatown. Thank you for taking the time to immerse yourself in this classic tale of power, corruption, and secrets in a city where the truth is as elusive as water in a drought-stricken Los Angeles. Your interest in the world of cinema is truly appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories about Chinatown. Keep those memories alive, and let the mysteries of this cinematic gem continue to captivate your imagination. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, take care and keep the spirit of the silver screen alive.